Good morning, folks. It's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a earthquake update Tuesday, January 23rd, 1108 a.m., just seven hours after the 8.0 kicked off in Alaska. Let's, let's not forget, two hours earlier, a 6.1, or now downgraded to 6.0, popped off in Indonesia, and just moments ago, another 4.9 in Indonesia. So, the planet is rocking. Now, initially, there were huge tsunami warnings that went out. Now, luckily, the people in this area are well prepared. They know about a 9.0 that might occur here, and it could occur in the near future. Look at the number of aftershocks here. There's over 27 quakes, 2.5 or greater since the main quake here, which, uh, according to the USGS, happened at 25 kilometers. Now, their initial reporting on that puts it at 11.8 miles, which is in that range of 20 kilometers, 29 kilometers, and an 8.0. Now, the tsunami warnings went out, and according to the media reports, it was a controlled, calm evacuation. Everyone went to the most people left, the coastal areas, because if you're in an area like that, you don't want to be washed away. Now, luckily, no one got washed away. The largest recorded tsunami has come in at 0.7 feet, and so far there are only a few stations reporting tsunami at all, and that's good news. I'll leave you links to all of this so you can peruse it on your own time. The quake location was far offshore. Uh, there are lots of aftershocks. And here's what we know. Alaska is the most seismically active region in the U.S. It's known for strong earthquakes, including the 1964 Great Alaska Earthquake, which had a magnitude of 9.2. It killed 131 people, mostly in the ensuing tsunami. That's why these people evacuated. Areas like Washington or California and Oregon, it won't be like that. Many idiots will stay because they will not believe the hype. Now, it still stands as the second largest earthquake over the recorded, ever recorded behind the 9.5 that struck Chile in 1960. Since 1900, Alaska has experienced an average of one 8.0 or greater every 13 years and one magnitude 7 to 8 every two years according to the Alaska Seismic Hazard Safety Commission. So this is not a rare quake. Happens every two years. This is the tsunami propagation travel times. So if there's a tsunami that's going to hit Australia, it will hit in, in a few hours. And then South America also moving forward. So the tsunami propagation would have only taken it to this region, which gives you lots of time to prepare and get away from the shore. This is another... Simulation they were using this morning, and I'll leave you links to that screen grab. Now, let's real quick talk about the volcano that went off in Japan that we reported on last night, and let's look at some of the footage. It's crazy. There are people skiing at this resort, and watch the boulders start to come in here. Keep your eye. It's crazy. These are skiers, and now here are the pyroclastic bombs hitting the ski resort from the eruption. This is yesterday. Now, we're not going to get a lot of information from this government from this event. Uh, that's why big up to Master Shannon for getting us this footage in a timely fashion. Now, wait till you see this report here, guys. Th take a look at these cams on the ski resort. And what you're going to see is these huge rocks flying everywhere, and people are getting hit. Now, just watch them start flying. See the pebbles? Gondola to the left just got hit with a boulder. It is raining boulders. We're not talking small rocks. These are three to five ton boulders falling out of the sky. I have never seen anything like this. Look at the people on the trail here. This is literally must have seemed like Armageddon. Insane. There's the explosion. Boom. Man. And then if you're skiing up there, oh my God. 
These are crazy times. Crazy times. Look at those boulders. Let's go back to that. Man, it is raining boulders. That's a heads up. Large earthquake in Alaska. We have a new volcano in Japan erupting, and it is raining boulders at the ski resort. And that's a heads up. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. Just a quick recap on today's geologic events. They're epic, and we're watching. Be safe.